Hello and welcome to your daily dose of complete health with your local chiropractor, Dr. Patrick Hock. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Good morning, this is your daily dose of complete health with your local chiropractor, Patrick Hogg. And I can't believe I've been in Eastbourne for, it must be coming up to three, four years, three, four years that I've been working in Eastbourne. I can't actually believe I've never told this story. It's actually really funny. It's a re I think it's a really funny story. And actually, funny enough, the reason why the story is funny, and let me get into it. So this is the story about the hippo that could, or why we called them the hippo that could. Now, interestingly enough, there was a young lad that ran a school cross country. He was significantly overweight and all the teachers on the school used to at the beginning of the year at the beginning of the year use the hedge bets as to who was going to win the school cuss crunchy so they used to all hedge bets there was this young lad he was significantly overweight and they used to all hedge bets as to who could win the school cross country and their bet was who was going to buy the first round at the bar on the friday night uh, and they basically the person who came last or whoever's bet came last they were the one that uh, they were the one that basically had to go and buy everyone else's round however they labeled someone the hippo that could and do you know why they labeled them the hippo that could is because there was a significantly overweight lad who actually won the school cross country and ironically the reason why i say this with such a big smile on my face is that hippo that could was me the hippo that could was me now it seems like a really daft story right but the point was is that the teachers all judged me by the size of what I was. They never really understood my mental grit or my level of competition going into a school cross country. And it didn't matter that I was the overweight kid. I actually always wanted to win in everything. I've always been competitive. I've always wanted to be competitive. Um, and it's just one of those things that I will always try and win. And so as a result, they throw 100 kids out on a school field and tell them to run a mile. And what did I do? I ran faster than everyone else because that's just what I do. But the point was, the point with this is, is that people always judge books by their cover. And actually sometimes someone might seem they've got a really rough exterior, or they might seem overweight or unhealthy. However, do we really know what's going on underneath? Now, the other really interesting thing about this story is that even though calling me the hippo that could, could be taken as a bit of an offensive statement, let's say, but the reality is, is when you break that statement down, the idea, the idea of they've judged someone as being someone that can't do something, but actually, really what they've seen is that they can do the thing. So is it a, is it a criticism or was it a compliment? And okay, these guys thought they were being funny, but the reality is true, is that by looking at the process of this is the kid that won't win the cool school cross country because he's overweight. So that, oh, actually, he's actually really surprised us. So calling me the hippo that could probably isn't the nicest way. And by the way, they only told me this when I left school. Calling me the hippo that could probably isn't the nicest thing they could do, but it did show exactly what my character was like. It showed that I had that mental grit, that I had that competitiveness, and that I wanted to win. But it also showed that actually, just by looking at someone, you cannot show what that person is capable of. And we all have, and I'm gonna say it, we all have that hippo inside of us that can do the work. We all have that hippo inside of us that can do the work. Now, like I say, I was talking to someone about this story the other day, and I just thought, why have I never actually ever told this to my clients? Because the reality is true is we all feel like sometimes that we can't do the thing because people have told us or they've judged us. But realistically, do you actually have that mental grit inside of you? Do you have that determination to actually turn things around? Do you actually have that desire to grow and grab what it is that you actually want to do? Because if you do, guess what? you can be the next hippo that could. And it might not be going and running a mile. It might be that you want to improve your flexibility, work on your relationships, improve in your business, improve on your health, whatever it might be, but become that person who 
actually maybe everyone will look at. And by the way, this this isn't the first time this has happened in my life, right? I've been told that I, I, I was I was stupid to set up a business when I was 27, that I was very unlikely going to succeed. I've been told that I'm dyslexic and I wasn't going to pass my exams. I've been told that I was the fat kid that run the school cross country and came first. It happens at multiple times in my life where people will beat us down, but we can all be, like I say, the hippo that could. We can all be the hippo that could. So I just want to say a massive shout out to my teachers, despite the fact that they probably will never see this, is that actually every one of my teachers has given me that mental determination, that grit, and actually funny enough, by actually labeling me like the hippo that could, they've actually created a compliment inside of what potentially looks like criticism. So like I said, I just wanted to tell this story. Like I said, I can't believe it's taken me three years to tell the story of uh, what my teachers do to school, call me at school. Anyway, here it is. Hope you enjoy. Take care for now. Speak to you soon.